Yo, thanks for checking out Smoking with Bush. Today I'm gonna do up some boneless beef short ribs on the Weaver Smoky Mountain. I've never cooked uh, boneless beef short ribs. I've done bone-in ones before. I don't think I recorded that video, but that was, I mean, that was so many years ago. So found these at my local butcher, I'm trying to support uh, one of my local businesses around here. So I uh, had a pretty good deal on them. Got two of them that I'm gonna throw on the Weaver Smoky Mountain. I already got them seasoned up. I'll show you what the seasoning is looking like. If you like what we're doing over here on this channel, go ahead and like, comment, uh, subscribe. And also, I am on IG. Follow me, Smoking with Bush, just all together one word. Uh, one of them I got seasoned up with this espresso rub. And the other one I'm seasoning up with this lump spice uh, 5 o'clock beer. And the bigger one on the left here. Got the espresso, then uh, the uh, five o'clock beer on the smaller one. So that'll give me a distinction. Already seasoned up the front. I'm gonna go ahead and let that sweat in a little bit. Flip them over, season up the back side, and get my uh, charcoal fired up for this Weeper Smoky Mountain. Got my coals out here getting lit up in a little mini chimney starter here. And I'm gonna be cooking over some hickory wood chunks. Got a few of those to get going. So once my coals get lit up, I'm gonna go ahead, dump them in the Weber Smoky Mountain. Now while my Weber Smoky Mountain's coming up to temp, figured I'd show you how that seasoning is really sweating into that meat. And that's kind of what I'm looking for before I throw it out on the smoker. Like both of them looking really good. That seasoning's, you know, wor working on the surface, trying to pull out some of that moisture. And yeah, by the time the Weber Smoky Mountain gets up to temp, these will be ready to throw on there. All right, so we out at the smoker. Gonna get these boneless beef short ribs on. All right, get these put on right here. Like I said, that's the espresso rub, the bigger one right there, and then the smaller one that's got the five o'clock beer seasoning on it. So yeah, like I said, probably check back in about two and a half, three hours, see what we're looking like and take it from there. All right, so we're three hours into this cook and as you can see, been hanging close to 250 the entire time. I've had all the vents completely open. Added some hickory wood right when the cook started and I'm gonna check in, see what we're looking like. Probably gonna wrap one of these beef short ribs. I'm gonna check out the color here. Oh, wow nice color on here and as you can see the bark is set on this one so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna wrap up this uh, bigger one here all right so I got the bigger short rib in a little um, tin pan here a little bit of beef stock just gonna add that to the pan let this braise a little bit for a while I did probe uh, both the short ribs a little bit and right now Still a little bit tough as far as the temp. Uh, they're probably hanging around 165 ish on both of them. So, you know, definitely a little ways to go. Just gonna cook them until they're tender. So, this particular uh, tin pan actually came with its own lid. So, I'll go ahead and throw that on there and I'll just get this back on the smoker and I'll probably check on both of these in about an hour and we'll just keep going from there. I've had these beef short ribs on here another hour and a half. As you can see, my temp's kind of falling. I think I'm running out of um, coal in the bottom, but we're going to check and see what we're looking like here. And Oh, man, look at that moisture. I don't know if you can see that on top of there. Now, I didn't spritz at all. These ribs, I just kind of cooked them. So we'll check these out and see. Oh, man. And I'm not even checking for temperature. I'm just checking for tenderness. A little tug down there. Yeah, these can go a little bit longer, as you can see, hanging around like 190 something internal. All right, so this is the this is the one I had rubbed down with that espresso rub, and I had uh, went ahead put it in this pan with some beef broth about three hours into the cook. So we'll check this one as well for tenderness. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, that one's definitely good to go. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, kind of 
was thinking that one's probably be about done and the temp on it just so you can see a little over 200 so we'll let this one just uh relax while the other one gets done like i'm i'm thinking the other one's probably going to take another 30 45 minutes to get to the tenderness that i want and then we'll let both of them rest and take a taste test see what it's looking like all right so this is what we're looking like i've had these things resting for probably about 45 minutes or so but i'm gonna give these a taste test this is the one with the espresso rub that we went ahead and put with the beef broth after about three hours into the cook and this is the one with the five o'clock beer rub and i left that one unwrapped the entire time i didn't spritz either of these just trying to get an idea as far as wrapping versus not wrapping the uh, boneless beef ribs so let me get you turned around and we'll do a taste test and see what they're both talking about here this is the one had the espresso rub on it loving that bark give it a good taste see what it's talking about Words cannot express how good that is. Oh my gosh. Like I said, I did some digging around. I made like boneless beef short ribs one other time and they were like the little strips and I'll put a link uh, to it in the iCard above, but they were nowhere near as good as these. Oh, I mean, that, that don't make any sense. Oh my gosh. Okay, so like I said, that was the one that was wrapped. I mean, it, it's so it's so succulent. I cooked it, what we do, three hours, 250, hickory wood, wrapped it for about an hour and a half. Perfect. Just, I, I got nothing else to say about that one. All right, so here's the other one. This is the one, nice, see that hickory wood, nice little smoke ring on there. Good color as well so this is the one i left unwrapped the entire time and we'll see what this one's talking about this one took let me see we did three hours wrapped the other one and then this took an additional probably two and a half hours or so so okay okay mm. Oh my gosh, that's good too. So with this one, you get more of that candy bark, but it's it's not as moist and tender as the one that was wrapped. But you do get a real, real, real nice bark on it. So each each one, I mean, the flavor is is incredible. I think if I did them again, I may um, cook for a few hours, uncovered wrap it and then probably put it back on the smoker for another 30 minutes to kind of tighten up that bark then i probably have the perfect beef uh short rib but either way i appreciate you checking out the vid please like comment subscribe and as always keep on smoking